everyone, it's Montez.com, and thanks so much for tuning in. Connect with me on Facebook by just searching Montez McCamish. Be sure to check out the website, it's Montez.com. I'm very socially active, and you can follow me on Twitter as well. I am also on Google+. All you have to do is search Montez McCamish. To help support it's Montez.com, please subscribe to the channel. And be sure to check out all the blogs that I post. You can find my blog by going to itsmontez.com, clicking the more tab, and a drop down menu will drop. Next, all you will have to do is click blog, and it should bring you there. Hello everyone, it's Montez McCamish from itsmontez.com. I've got three things that I need you to do before we go into this video. I need you to share this, I need you to comment on this, and I need you to subscribe to the channel. Um, those are three big key things for this to keep going, and uh, for me to keep on producing videos for you. Um, I had a questions asked in my Q&A video. I'm putting it up on the screen right now, so if you haven't asked any questions, you can just go to this Q&A video video I take questions from the Q&A video and put them into my next videos on what's going on but I had a question that was asked that I thought was pretty interesting so I'm gonna go ahead and take that off of the Q&A and post that in this video and I'll answer it just here in a little while um, it's going to uh, kind of relate to uh, just really getting into whatever it is that you're going to do and going full force into it I'm gonna relate this question into that here's the question you're so cute and great on camera, Montez. Is Cowboy Monty a fabulous, funny wuss of all cowboys? Does he have a girlfriend, and will she do a camera dramedy with him? You definitely have starlight quality. What's Monty's strong points? Why is he worried? Did you ever see Christopher Walken do The Continental on Saturday, one hour, or is it before your air? Aha, uh -huh. you're amazing and talented. What a real wonderful question. Um, yeah, so Cowboy Monty really is, he, I created him because I had a friend, his name is Mike Andrews, he runs a channel, um, I'll put that on the screen, and he created a character named Bobby. There's Bobby right there. <laughs> so when we created Bobby, he created Bobby, I was kind of like, hey, that's pretty cool, you know, and so I decided whenever I first started YouTube, I was going to create another character. Um, I was going to create something else that could bring a uh, personality of who I am to the people, you know, instead of just all the time being the serious person that I am or being um, informational, I wanted to be able to give you all some fun whenever inducing the content. So, uh, now I would say he's a wussy of everything. He's just, he's just a very emotional person and um, he's able to let out my emotions uh, through the content that I produce. He's just another way of me to be able to um, kind of get my point across. Like the in the other videos that I've done, I've kind of talked to people about um, hearing things in different ways of getting your uh, points across. So I feel like uh, Cowboy Monty, he gets his point across, but it's in a very uh, charismatic, humanic way. So uh, that's the big reason why I created Cowboy Monty. As far as him having a girlfriend, no, um, he doesn't have one. Uh, will she ever come on set? No, she probably won't. Um, but I do know that I am working with uh, lots of other people who are wanting to be just as creative as I am or who would like to collaborate with me with Cowboy Monty. Um, uh, there are some other characters that uh, Michael Andrews are, is working on, so that's pretty cool. It's like something that I do, and hopefully later on I can take the videos, smash them together, and make like a comedy out of them. Um, pretty cool, pretty cool little project. It's just something to keep me active, you know, something to keep me going, and keeping my, my body uh, wanting to uh, produce film, produce content, and, and just really getting better at my craft. I think that working with the content and doing the stuff over and over again and changing and, 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 and switching the film from certain ways and, and doing these things like this, it's, it's just really perfecting on what I'm doing. It's really helping me cone on that craft. It's really helping me um, become a film better film producer, uh, so to speak. So what are Cowboy Monty's strong points? Uh, I, I really honestly have to say that I, I, think, I think that his strong points are really just allowing me to come out of my own element. You know, like again, some people have a problem coming on camera and being goofy or being however they want to be, you know, like, I feel like Cowboy Monty allows me um, a different outlet. It just allows me to be quirky and crazy and be how I want to be without being so, um, someone quick to judge on things. Like I know that you've seen in some of the videos that people produce, you have like some people that are trolling comments, putting thumbs down, doing things like that. And so, like, this just allows me to just really 
be who I want to be. be, be me, you know, so like, I'd say his strong points, it's the strongest thing that he gets to do, he's, 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 he's crazy, he's nuts, he does weird things, but all through it, he's teaching you something, and he's just who he is, and he doesn't let anything else, like, uh, confer that he's just the way that he is so so like for the nervousness and stuff like that it's just because he's not sure how other people are going to take it he's not sure what's going to go on so like i try to like relate that into what's going on oh you know is that when they he's coming back you know the people are going to come back they're going to say something and then you know so he's kind of like he's kind of on the wall about things um yeah so like Watching stand-up comedy Saturday Night Live, 1 o'clock. No, I never really got to watch much TV. Growing up in my family, you know, mom really didn't have a television. She always told us, you know, if you want to go do something, you know, go outside and go have fun. <laughs> you know, like, um, television wasn't very a big thing, a very big thing in my family. You know, like, I, I did sit down and watch some, you know, Red Rifle with Grandfather, you know, stuff like that. I did, I did watch films. But as far as like being up late watching them or being during the day and watching them or even at nighttime watching them, no, it didn't really happen because we didn't have a TV. Now, it wasn't until I got older and mom purchased the TV and then I was like totally addicted, but it wasn't into like comedy and things like that. It wasn't until later to like, you know, 16, 17, I'd watch uh, Red Skeleton. You know, I'd watch him. I'd watch a little bit of Richard Pryor when I hit like 23. And I'm 26 now, so like it, 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 you know, like as far as comedy came, it wasn't until later I started watching films, you know. So, um, no, I never watched it before. Thanks for mentioning it, cause I will be checking it out. So I don't really want to leave the film without giving you all some kind of like um, information on like how this makes sense or how it could you could apply this. So like, I think that if you like make a third person or a second person or you try to do these kinds of things and you really step outside of your element and you really act as in the way that this person acts, just kind of because like when you step out of your element, you're, you are who you are, you're being yourself, but you're just being the normal you the normal you so like when you're running around and you're laughing and you're being this person but then you're doing this and recording it and putting it on here i think that it's really helping you take yourself and push yourself further at the things that you're good at you know a lot of times we'll spend time worrying about the things we're bad at but if we're going to be on the screens and stuff like that a lot of us we're really good on the screen a lot of us we do a good job on the screen but sometimes we really need to crush that that barrier whatever it is that's holding you back you got to crush it and so like for me me going out and doing Cowboy Monty and bringing him on the screen, it really, really um, makes me evaluate myself. It makes me um, hold myself accountable as well. You know what I mean? Like, because within the character and I'm doing contents for the character, I'm doing things like this, I kind of really got to keep up in doing what I'm doing. So with all that being said, it, it's, it's stressful because you got to, you know, Cowboy Monty, he hadn't been on for a while, and he was crying out he hadn't had any content done for a while, you know, he, he wanted to be part of the team. So, like, all in all, in ways, it keeps me um, pushing myself into what I'm doing. It's really causing me to work harder in doing things. Like, a lot of people, they'll do um, videos that are like Q&As. I mean, I just did a Q&A, &A, and with the Q&A, I'm able to give more content back to you all. Um, it's able to give me more ideas just as well. So... Yeah, that's just a little piece that you could take home and you could save that or you could um, give it to somebody else because, again, um, in order for this to work right, you're supposed to share it. So if you share this and you give this to someone else, hopefully it could give them some motivation, some boost to get back into things. I have a very nice little read on itsmontez.com, how to write an epic about me page for your blog. Be sure to check that out and share it. Leave your comments below. Um, you watched the whole spiel in the beginning, I hope. Um, make sure you subscribe to all the social media accounts. Um, subscribe to the YouTube channel, itsmontez.com. And if you don't do that, you're not going to be able to keep up. Duh. Itsmontez.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. Since you're going to get the cutest little deer ever, you're out of it.